Hey everybody, welcome to T-Boy Cooks. I appreciate you joining. Man, we got a great video for you today. I'm doing a low country boil with some shrimp and some crab. Y'all stick around, it's gonna be good. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, cooking up some barbecue for you. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, showing you that you can cook it too. But he cooks responsibly. All right, one of the reasons I chose to do a low country bowl, because I've done crawfish bowls and stuff in the past, y'all seen all that. But I'm gonna use some Old Bay and see how that works in a low country bowl. And I got some new toys, folks. Y'all check this out. My friends over at Boil Boss, they sent me this. They've got a couple of different sizes on their website, boilboss.com. But uh, diff two different sizes fit probably like six or eight different size pots, okay? I think I'm using a 100 quart tonight or today. Um, but you hook this thing up to your water hose and it fits around your pot to cool off the water very fast, folks, very quickly. And that is key because you don't want to overcook your seafood. Once you can tell that it's done, you need to cool that water off as fast as you can. And usually you would do that with some ice. Ice will um, dilute the water and the seasoning. So you're you're not getting the same flavor as, the, as that you started with, you know? That ice just dilutes everything. And here's, here's another little toy I got from my friends over at Boil Boss. Y'all check this out. When you're cooling your water off, folks, you need to cool it off quick, like I said, and you also need to monitor the temp of the water. That's where the Boil Boss paddle comes in. Do I have that right? Yeah, we do. Just wanna make sure y'all can see it. <laughs> anyway, you see that silver rod going through the middle? That is a thermometer, folks. As you're boiling, I mean, as you're cooling off your water with the boil boss itself, uh, that's just shooting water on your pot from your water hose, um, you're stirring your pot to agitate the water and help it cool off quickly. And I'll show you that here at the end of the video. But one of the keys is to get your water down to about as 145 to 155 Fahrenheit as fast as you can, uh, which the boil boss will do in just a couple, two or three minutes. And agitation is key, but monitoring your temp is key. So what they've done here, they've got this paddle and it's got this temperature gauge on the end of it. So as you're stirring and agitating the water, you can tell the temperature water by looking at your dial right there. And again, you want to get your water about 145, 155 degrees, somewhere in that range. And at that point, your, your shrimp and crab and whatever you're cooking will stop cooking and it will start absorbing all that good seasoning that you put in that water, man. Can't wait to check all this stuff out, see how it works. Um, the paddle just came out this week, folks, as far as I know. So y'all go check them out, boilboss.com. Get you one of these paddles and also the Boil Boss itself. Y'all watch me use it here in a little bit. All right, I got my pot going over some uh, a propane jet burner right now. And I got about two-thirds full of water. Let me go get some seasonings and let me get my veggies and all that stuff cut up. And let me get everything organized. I'll meet you back here shortly. All right, guys, while my water's coming up to a boil, as you can see, it's, it's right here. So it's about two-thirds of the way up. Uh, but as it's come up to boil, I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning. So I've got this uh, six ounce container of Old Bay. Mm, I don't use Old Bay too often, but I'm gonna throw the whole thing in there, folks. I got some of this that's already open. Uh, Louisiana crawfish, crab, shrimp boil. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there too. I like my seafood a little spicy. We got a lot of water in here, folks. Like I said, I think it's a 100 quart pot. It's a lot of water. I'm gonna go in with that bag. And there's no measurements. I mean, uh, bottom line, I've had this question before, but bottom line is if you add more seasoning to your water, it's less soak time. If you hold back on the seasoning in your water, you have to soak your seafood longer to get it spicier, which is how I like it. So we're going that way right there. Uh, let's see what else we got. We've got some of this liquid crab and shrimp bowl, crawfish crab and shrimp bowl. We'll go in with some of that. Um, this is a 16 ounce bottle. I've already used about a quarter of it, so we're going to go maybe another half, we'll leave about a quarter of it in there. A little bit more, there we go. This has vinegar in it, folks. This is crystal hot sauce out of Louisiana. But uh, hot sauce has a lot of vinegar, this one especially, and uh, that's one reason I like it. But vinegar will help peel the shrimp and the crab, okay? It helps the meat release from the shell. So that's what we got going on with this. I'm gonna go ahead and pour all this in there. 
12 ounce bottle going in. What else we need? Need a little bit more heat, a little bit of cayenne pepper, folks. Not a whole heck of a lot. Maybe about three tablespoons. How about that? We'll see how that goes. I also got three of these bags of this uh, boil in a bag, they call it. It's basically just a perforated bag, and it's got uh, all kind of different good stuff in there. I got three of them going in. Three of them going in. You can put two if you want, or four, or however many you want. All right, so let's go ahead and stir all this up. You want to make sure that all these seasonings get dissolved in the water. Put the lid back on this baby. When I see steam coming out of this hole right here, I know it's boiling. And at that point, we're going to add some uh, some veggies. So hang on. All right, I think we're almost up to a boil. Let's check it out. Yes, we are. See some steam in there. Now at this point, what I want to do is add some onion. And I just took a whole onion and just halved it. I didn't peel it or anything. Don't worry about all that. Drop your onion in there. You can throw celery in here too or any other veggies you want. But folks, if you have not tried garlic, in a boil you're missing out just cut the very top head off you know you can see all the different cloves in there and these are some little bitty ones man i actually thought i had some here at the house and, and i did but they were kind of getting mushy so and you know the green stuff grew the stem growing out of the top but anyway just cut chop you know the first you know quarter inch or so off throw them in there that'll season it up i'm going to go in with a couple of uh lemons right now just squeeze the juice in them I'll add some more lemons at the end. Got a couple of them going in right now. Seeds and all, man. Don't worry about it. Anything else going in right now? No, I think we're good. All right, so we put the lid back on, and we're just going to let this come up to a boil. Let it boil for about 10 minutes, and then uh, we'll add some, uh, some potatoes to it. All right, folks, it's time to get this show on the road. This has all been boiling for about 10 minutes. That'll mix everything up really good and help dissolve everything that's in there. Sorry about that, I just kicked the little leg on my trap out there. Um, now I wanna tell you, I did taste this. I just took a little scoop out of it and tasted it and uh, it was lacking some salt, so I did add one cup of salt to this off camera. Just, if you're following along, just wanted to make sure y'all are aware of that. First thing we're going in with is some uh, potatoes. And these are really, really small little baby potatoes. They're not going to take very long. If you got larger ones, they may take 10, 15 minutes. But these, I'm just going to do them for like seven minutes right now. Pour them in there. Go get that on you. That's hot. Put the lid back on. Set the timer. Seven minutes. All right, it's been seven minutes for those potatoes. I got some artichoke I'm going to throw in there now. And I just, as you can see, I just cut the very top off. Throw those in. Let those go maybe five minutes or so. Put the lid back on, we'll catch you back. All right, it's been about five minutes for those artichokes. Now it's time to go in with some sausage. Oh, I've got sausage and I've got uh, andouille. Sausage and andouille. Go on in. Put the lid back on. Let that go about another five, seven minutes. All right, folks, it's been five minutes. Now let's go ahead and throw in some fresh blue crab. And my buddies over at Boil Boss sent me this. This is straight from Louisiana, folks. Blue crab, there you go. These need to cook about eight minutes before I throw the shrimp in. That's why I'm gonna go ahead and add them in. Yeah, I think I got about a half a dozen or so. So we'll go ahead and add all these and we'll catch you back here in about eight minutes. All right, I just turned the gas down a little bit so y'all can hear me. It's been eight minutes. Let's see if I can keep the uh, lens clean over here. Got some corn going in. And this was frozen, but I kind of thawed it out in the fridge. Get in there. Going in with what my buddy Russ over at Smoky Ribs calls some flavor bombs. Mushrooms, folks, mushrooms. You know what's cool about these uh, boils? You can add whatever the heck you want, man. Put as much seasoning or as little, add whatever stuff you want. I've added cauliflower in here, broccoli, uh, whatever you want. That's what makes this fun. I get my buddies over there at the uh, Boil Boss. They sent me some nice head-on Gulf shrimp. 
I think this is about 12 pounds. I'm going in. Stir them all in there. Shrimp don't take long. Two, three minutes, if that. So I'm gonna put the lid back on, turn my heat back on really high, get this back up to boil as quickly as possible, and we'll catch y'all back here in a couple of minutes. All right, guys, it's been a couple of minutes for that shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire off. I got these at my local HEB. They've already been steamed, but they are snow crab legs. Sit these up here on the top. Now that the fire is off, these don't really need to cook, they just need to heat through. Now I love me some snow crab leg. Oh yeah, babe. Just let them soak in there. And also, check this out, I got me some mussels. We're going to throw the mussels right in there just like that, folks. They just need to steam a little bit. Let them open up. I'm leaving them in the bag so that I can easily remove them later. Just like that. All right, let's get the boil boss hooked up. All right, the boil boss comes this way. You just, hush up, Lucy, I'm making a video. Uh, tabs, they move. You just do like that right there. Turn the water on. Got a little water valve right here on the side of this thing. Just like that, guys, just like that. Check that out. Now again, what you want to do, you want to agitate this water it's probably going to take, you know, a few minutes, but just agitate your water, get it all stirred around. So as the boil boss is cooling off the outside of the pot, you're stirring the water and keeping, keeping, the, keeping it moving so that the water will cool faster. And it's really nice having this handy dandy thermometer up here where I can see what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna keep stirring this until we get down to about 100 and 150 or so, and I will bring you off right back. Oh, folks, I'm almost there, but I almost forgot. I also have some, uh, some more citrus going in right here at the very end. This one orange, I think that's a navel orange. Got some more of these little small oranges here. And you know what reminded me of this? I got uh, honeybees out here attacking my citrus. They love that sweet smell. And I got a bunch of lemons again here. Probably another four lemons or so. We're going to throw those in. And folks, I was noticing the, uh, the mussels weren't opening up. So I think that the bag that they're in is too tight. I'm going to go ahead and loosen up those mussels and uh, dump them in here out of the bag. Just kind of let them cook a little bit on their own. And uh, the mussels are attached to their shell, so I don't think the mussel meat's going to fall to the bottom and stuff like a, uh, like a clam would. Alright, so here's my mussels here. Let's see if I can just go ahead and open these babies up. Yeah, they packed in tight in here, man. There we go. Let's see if I can get some of these out of here. Just like that. There we go. All right, now, now we're talking. All right, now let's see where we're at with the temp. Give it a nice stir. Oh yeah, yeah, these muscles are opening up now. Oh, you can see it. There's one right there, see that? Open it up nice. And that meat's gonna absorb all that, uh, that, that uh, seasoning too. All right, look folks, we're down to 140. I'm going to shut off the boil boss. We're going to put the lid on this. We're going to let this soak for about uh, 20 to 30 minutes. And uh, we'll taste it. When, it. when it tastes right, when it's seasoned enough for me, we're going to go ahead and eat. We'll bring y'all back then. All right, guys, it's been about 30, 35 minutes. Let me go ahead and take this out. Oh, yeah. Let that water drain out of there. There we go, just like that. And we'll catch you back here shortly, throwing it on the table. Looks pretty doggone good right now though, don't it? Oh yeah, baby. Heck yeah. All right, we'll catch y'all back shortly. 
All right, folks, there's the show right here. That's what we got. There we go. Gorgeous, low country boil. Just like that. All right, folks, it's getting dark on me. Sun's already set. Let's check out this shrimp. Just kind of twist the head a little bit like that. Get that off of there. Get that tail off of there. And just peel off the skin, man. Easy peasy. Just like that. That's what you're looking for, man. And I made me a little homemade cocktail sauce over here. Right there. If you want to see me make some homemade cocktail sauce, let me know. I'll make a separate video for it. Mmm. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Try a little bit of this uh, muscle right here. And folks, you can use the uh, the shell to scoop the muscle out. Just like that. Oh man, that muscle's jamming, y'all. All right. I got some, got some crab here. See if I remember how to do a crab. I haven't done it in a long time. I think you just kind of take the shell off like that. Oh yeah, got all that juice in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, baby. You can save these and you can stuff them with some like cornbread dressing and stuff with some crab meat in it or some shrimp in it. Yum. Yum. Serious yummage. Take the gills off. See these gills right here? I don't know if y'all can see all that. But take these gills off there. Man, this brings back memories. Because we used to go down to uh, Grand Isle, down south on the coast, on the Gulf Coast, Louisiana. Break that baby in half. Like that. There we go. Oh, I forgot. You got to remove the back end right there. That was a female. All right, and then you got all this succulent meat in here in the front. And eat each leg right here. That leg kind of small. Woo, that sucked up a lot of that spiciness. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, yeah, man. Anyway, what I like to do, if I can, I'll separate the legs like that, and they kind of have their own natural little uh, cartilage or whatever you call it right here. I'll take some of that. Hey, man, I forgot to give me some dang butter, though. But anyway, I dipped out in some butter. And you talk about fine. Holy cow. All right, folks, I got to go eat. Huh. That crab is perfectly cooked. My God. That's some fine eating. Let me show you this shirt, though, real quick. For you guys that are interested in some merch, and the link will be down below. It's my Shopify store. Just look up Troy Cooks on Shopify if you don't want to click the link down below. But let me show you the shirt. So you get the right here and uh, T. Roy Cooks logo. And then check out the back real quick. Pretty nice, right? Karen designed that. <laughs> Folks, I hope y'all do a, a low country bowl or a, a Cajun crawfish bowl, whatever you want to do. But uh, make it your own. I, did, I just did this on a, on a whim, man. Just, uh, I mean, I had the Boil Boss, boilboss.com. Y'all go check them out. I uh, appreciate them providing the seafood and the Boil Boss and the paddle for me uh, to do this video. But, uh, man, it works great. I loved using it. I will definitely be using it in the future because it is the way to go. But uh, y'all make it your own, man. Just use your own seasonings. You know, put however much seasoning you want. Just I like to overdo the seasoning usually so I don't have to soak the seafood that long. Uh, but that's just my own preference. Taste your water. Make sure it tastes like salt water from the sea. If it doesn't, you need some more salt in there, folks, before you put all your seafood and potatoes and stuff. Potatoes soak up a lot of that stuff. So uh, so taste your water before you, uh, you start putting all your stuff in there. Uh, you don't want your food coming out bland. Hope y'all enjoyed this. If you're not subbed yet, please go ahead and subscribe down in the corner below. Uh, hit the uh, little red button. I'd appreciate it. Uh, if, uh, if you do enjoy the video, though, I, I really do hope that you share the video. That's the best thing you can do for me. Share the video on all your social media. And folks, when you share the video, please tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly.
Cheers, everybody. We'll see y'all next time. Till then. Ah, good times.